I'm Old Man Pat and I've been playing golf over 70 years and today I'm going to try and help you break 90. Right golf mates we're joined by our legend OMP he's off 10 at moment he is 78 got you a little birthday yes we're thank you very much by the way golf mates for all your best wishes i think there were too many to reply to we're doing our best yeah we're we? doing our best yes but well, thanks a lot so what we're doing here we're having a bit of course management but a bit of if you're a low handicapper you might not get this video but it's can you break 90 by hitting it 165 yards 170 yards so pat you've got your three wood yeah that goes about 170 yards about 170 yeah. we might get a bit of run we might not depending wind against wind we're going to do, show you three holes how Pat will play them. So this hole is actually 400 yards, isn't it, from here? Yeah, 388 yeah. yards, is it? Yeah. Now, Pat, let's pretend, pretend it's a par 72 course. Yeah. So you could have 18 bogeys, couldn't you? You could do, yeah. And you'll break 90. Mm. Or get 90. Yeah, get 90. But you've said you can do it by three wood, couldn't you? Well, that's Or so everyone good. can learn just yeah, by yeah. keeping it in play and Keep Keeping in play, that's the most important. And danger, that. we're going to have no yeah. danger whatsoever. So we're going to let Pat tee off and he's going to talk you through everything. So what he's done is just pop it down there. Yeah. It's a wide furway, we'll explain why he's done that to the left in a minute. Right Pat, we've zapped it. Yeah. With this all now, what we've got it's water in a ditch going That's across right. and it's only 140 yards to clear but the pin is 200 Two the nod, so 220 i've not zapped it yet the flag's not up so pat if you hit your free one you can go over the ditch oh. no problem but i won't reach the green so that may you've got so basically what he's saying he can hit his free wood he can get over the ditch but he won't be on the green I but can, you're bringing it into danger aren't or you? i can hit the three wood and i don't hit it well that could be in the day. So. so what would you do on a mellow round all day long? Just lay it up. So you're going to lay one up yeah. 120 yards That's it. and then perch it on. Onto the green. Either way you can't get on the green so yeah. what you're saying is you're just not going to take any risk Taking whatsoever. Taking all the risk out, yeah. Just so what like are you hitting there? Just, just a 9-9. Just a little German? Yeah. Let's see what he does. Let's Hopefully he don't go yet. Ready? All yours master. And that's all he's done, he's popped it there. Safe as houses, isn't it, Pat? Right, that's it. Right, Pat. I understand everything you've done now. Yeah. I suppose if you've not got a shot, what's 220 yards, yeah. there's no point, is there? Well, if you can't reach the green, why take this into, into it? So you've left yourself 130 in. Yeah. Oh, nice. Seven iron. And the, the pin's at back, isn't it? Yeah. So here now, technically, you've got, if you duff that, you're going to get over the green, aren't oh, you? Oh, yeah, even if the duff. Duff the three wood, you're in. Could it? straight at it. I wonder if you're going to see it bounce, it's just behind there, but... Happy with that, Pat? Very happy. I'm actually glad we're doing it. Oh, you can hear that playing. Right, I've just showed you the ditch. So that's OMP there. In the buggy, he's just going past, but his ball's there. So you can say I understand it, because he has got a putt for par. Thank God, mate. As you can see, I'm putting for a par. Now, even if I don't get it, I get a bogey. But I've took all the risk out of this hole. So the bogey will do me here. Stroke nine, I'm on a shot, so what's the problem? Yes. See what will do, mates? See, that's how to break 90. Just Take all the danger, or as much danger as you can, out of a hole, and be happy with a bogey. Right, OMP, we've come to another par four. This yeah. one is 265 yards. Yes. So, like I said, we're doing what you said for break 90. You're hitting a club that goes 170-ish. Right, so it's yeah. downhill. You might get a midges more. It does look like it's running. That's going to do, yes. But then, with this green, it's going to bring in different problems, which we'll talk about yeah. when you've took your shot. That's right. There's a, I think you, you, you made this say, there's a saying in golf, the trees are full of big hitters. Yeah. So if you don't hit it that far and you're a bit erratic, it can't go in the shite much, That's can right, it? Yeah. 
But if you're a big hitter and hit it offline, it's in the shite, it's isn't done, it? Yeah. So some, sometimes the ego's better. Just to get it down the middle. If you want to have your best score. Instead of taking a wedge, why not a seven iron? That's, you know, if you need a degree. I think what we're going to do, we've got a right good explanation for our second shot here, yeah. or OMP second shot, where we're going to explain something. Well, Pat's going to explain it. So let him take his shot, hopefully, hits it down the middle, and then we can go again. Right. So we're not going to see it finish. Well, I can't even talk and he's checking uh, straight down the middle. Uh, you can't see it, but my ball is next to the 100 yard marker. Now, if you're a long hitter and you go right, the right hand bunker is the danger. If you go left, a left hand bunker is the danger. So if you're down the middle, you've got the, the gap between the two for just a nice long run in. That's all you need. So when you're saying run in, like, I just want to get more information. Yeah. You mean just chip and run it so chip it goes straight because yeah. chip and run it's harder to go left and right isn't it that's right yeah so well, you won't put anything in the air you'll just run it in well sometimes i would but what? in a case i have i wanted to break a certain score like 90 yeah. has just keep it low run it up onto the green so virtual like a putting stroke yeah. and just, well, just need iron or a seven iron yeah and just run it in that's it keep the bunkers out of play out of play because you add loft you can also add yeah, yeah. left and right in it can't you of course you can yeah what? Right, so what he was saying on the way down the part, he didn't get that across yeah. because we're not professionals at this. No, that's right. It's professional of his game and his craft, but maybe doing the videos we're not. So basically, it's the bunker left and right. If you were here now and you're not a good bunker yeah. player, yeah. you don't want to be in them. You don't want to be throwing it in the air, especially if there's a win, because it'll take you into the left one or the right, or push it to the right one. So if you're not a good bunker player and you, you struggle to break 90, hit the shot what's not going to go in there. So. Like Pat's going to play you now a running shot, yeah. which have got more chance of staying straight, staying straight than yeah. it with lofting your hand, That's surely. Right. Well, like I say, if it's windy, it takes all that out of it because it's not high enough. So that's exactly what he's done. He's just chipped and run it. It's short, but I'm, do you know what, Pat? I'm glad it's short. Let's yeah. keep this rolling. Yeah. Right, so it's short, Pat. Yeah. Well, if you get 18 bogeys, yeah. you'll break 90, 90. on 80% of the courses. Of course you will, yeah. But where you are now, you're going to have a simple chip. Chip up to the... But you'll definitely have a putt for par. Yeah. I'm actually glad he's not put that on the green, because it, it brings it out the... Look, if you're a low handicapper, you'll be saying, why am I not wedging it onto the green? But that this video is more about helping people break 90. And I'm glad you've done that, yeah, because yeah. that should be a simple up and down. If not... It should be a gimme bogey all day yeah. long. That's it. And that's all you need, 18 bogey. Right, OMP, what have you just told me about if you went for the pin from this angle now? Well, as you can see, the hump of the bunker sticks out, so it makes it a bit more difficult. I could have been over here a bit more. But uh, we'll just try and get it as near as possible, and if we get a bogey, we get a bogey. What club are you going to use again? I'm using a 7-iron this time. Just Is this same? It. Running it in, no loft, no nothing? No. So you're just going to play a bit sensible? That's it. Captain Sensible. Now, did you push that a bit, or did you? Is that where you? Or did you aim? Let me put this back. Yeah. Did you aim on that knuckle part there? Just aim that knuckle. So, I'd... so you took the right hand side. I'm going to yeah. line it up now. You took the right hand side yeah. away, yeah. so you couldn't get your bad bounce. That's right. And you know you've got a putt for par. Putt for par, yeah. Right, OMP, you've got your line. Yeah. We're going to talk about line shortly, aren't we? Yeah. And putting, but because putting's a big thing. That's right. You've left yourself a little downhill here, haven't you? I have. So this is a tricky putt, isn't it? Very tricky because I say it's downhill. But it's in the hole. <laughs> now, on, es <laughs> on essence of the video, right, he's parred it. So that's a bonus. But if you're leaving yourself five or six footers, yeah, yeah. you're going to make one, aren't you? Of course you so are. So, as well as getting your yeah. bogey, you're going to get your par. Yeah. But when you cock someone up, you've got a bit of insurance. Well, that's what I say. Even if you, you now, I can afford. Or anybody that wants to break 90 can afford to get double bogey on that one. Because you've gained? Because you've gained one, yeah. But being super safe? Yeah, of course. Par three. Right, Pat, we've brought you to a temp, our par three. Yeah. Bunker front of the green, but it's not really in play. It's about 110 yards. That's it. Bunker right. Biggest problem here, out of bounds all out the way. Out of bounds. Where the pin is, if you go for the pin and you're slightly 
left of it, but out of bounds. So, so what is the safest way, Pat, in your knowledge now, to play this if you want to, uh, if you're going for a ball game? Okay, just play it right. You've got plenty of room down across the green for the five ten. And if you do pull it, you're in bounds. Exactly. So you're telling us now, for break 90, you're not going for the green, no. but hoping for a chip. I'm just going to go right, just right the green, towards that far bunker. Right, so you've gone down to a five wood here now, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. Just in, and the reason he's gone for a five wood, yes, it's all differences. Pat's five wood is about 155. Yeah. So it's 150 to 160 short. to the bunker on the right. Big line coming up now. So at least he won't go in there, he'll be short of it, and then he'll have the safest chip on. Correct. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. So you're not going for the green, you're no, aiming no. for that bunker I'm on the right. The I hope you got that golf, mate. So he's going for the bunker on the right. Okay. You're not short, now give me a chip across the green. What's that OMP? I'm gone right now and I'm hoping this, I'm gonna have just a complete No, you didn't, you didn't, it's a great shot Not though, right but I'm you. telling you now, playing different how you play for your level. So we're talking about breaking 90. You're actually in position A, aren't you? Break 90. With no stress. Because it's, you've got a chance of a three, if you get in there enough, or if you get a four, it's still gonna be okay. And there's no stress, is there? None, what the, that's why I've got those Black hair. Do you mean greyer? Well, yeah, but you're 78 now, yeah. and I would imagine you have played stress free golf for so many years. Correct. How long have you been playing? Uh, about 70 years. 70 nearly? Well, 70, more than 70. More than 70 yeah. years? Right, so your knowledge will do for me. Right, so this is where Pat is. He's put himself in between the bunkers. If you would have. There's the pen. No, no, no danger whatsoever. So if you pulled it left, you've cleared that, yeah. you're not out of bounds. Yeah. Technically, you've not gone for the green. Some people could say chicken golf, but you yeah, disagree, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, if I was playing the normal game, I would I would have to go for the green. But if you want to just break 90, this is what you do. And also, it's the club you've picked here. Yeah. What have you picked for this chip? The seven iron. Reason? Because I'll just chip it and run it down there. If I was to take a lot of the club and wedge it, and go through the green, and that. Do you mean knife it? Yeah, knife Which? it, yeah. A lofty club for an iron handicapper is sometimes harder yeah. to hit, so you're just taking that risk away. Yeah, that's it. We're just running the town, yeah. So if you duff it, it's going to go forward. It's if you duff a wedge, it won't, it won't go out of bounds. Yeah, so if you duff a wedge, it's going to apple turn over or just go like a oh, bullet. Spin it through there. Yeah. So that is the safest shot. Of course it is. Yeah. And that's the way of making golf easy. It's actually just forget your cannons and just. If you want to improve, then when you've improved, then you can start taking well, things yeah, on. You've got more confidence. When you get confidence, yeah. well, let's see what you can do. Perfect. Hello. So again, Pat, it's not dead near no. the pin, but it should be an easy two putt bogey. Correct. So you've got like a 25 putter OMP. I yeah. take you don't expect to make it, but you just want to make it dead easy for tapping a, bogey, for a bogey yeah. and which will get you on par for breaking 90. Tap a ring, young man. Pat's actually finished two over par in three holes. Yeah. By playing away sensible. That's you it. wouldn't play that with your handicap being a no. ten, handi ten handicapper golfer. No. But I hope you can appreciate if you're a higher handicapper, this would help. If you're lower and you're thinking what we're doing, yeah. you've got to understand what we're trying to do. In fact, you, you might even go lower by some of your bad holes at your course where you have a nightmare on. Fourth here for me, I play right now with that because it makes me go out of bounds. But Pat, you want to talk about putting quickly, don't you? Yes. Well, again, putting is a very personal thing. You know, people have different ways of putting. But Would you say putting, what you said to me, because I don't want you to forget it, yeah. is find your own technique. That's it. That's it. Fine. And, and if it works, keep at it. If, it. if you have a lot of problems, then you... People, the best golfers in the world, you know, they go to these uh, instructors not trying to get them be better putters, but it's just one of them things, it either comes or it goes. What would you say the biggest practice for break 90 is? Is to get a yeah, dustbin lid, anything decided to get past the hole, it pops. If not, in the dustbin lid? In the dustbin lid. 
we call it here you've not heard it on a channel but it's our friend from america gordon you know who you are the circle of friendship yeah. which is a dustbin lid yeah. so big big thing where you find out yourself is practice practice you're putting yeah leaving it inside the circle of friendship and what we mean by that is where it should be a tapping pot yeah, don't yeah. we and me personally a lot of people when they when they, when they got a longish pot say a 15 foot or 20 foot they look at something you know 10 foot away that's all i don't i look at something three foot and then go go to the hole now if you so start, you so you have it so much closer to you yes. if you start on that line can I put the thingy behind you and yeah, try and yeah. I'll try and make Don't don't look at something up there for, for your marker. Yep. Look at something about three foot, four foot in front of you. Yep. And you, you, you go to the hole and you think, okay, it might go one way or the other. But you think if you start off on that little spot you pick, at least it's going towards the hole. Get ya. It might it might sway one way or the other, but you in on the right line, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, Pat, that's how I put anyway. I'm going to say, comment below if you want a proper tip video of Pat to break 80, maybe 70. He might not have the power, but he's got the ninth upstairs, but a putting or chipping or anything. But more importantly, Pat, thank you very much for your no 70 years of golf. Yeah. A 78 year old assassin still. And golf mates, any request for OMP? An OMP, can we have a like, do you think? Oh, if you would, yes. That would be brilliant. And if you share what this video going? around, if you've got any mates who are taking up golf and it might help them. Yeah. So it's a good day from me. And a good day from me. Pat, it's sunny. Do we have a pint or a few holes? Oh, I, I, no, I think we have a pint. That would be. Seeing that we've got the first day of summer. Cheers, help mates.